Can she turn people to stone? Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. Or a really, really long one. I'm serious! <laughs> Percy not helpful, the Freddy. to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Oh, maybe you could use your phone. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm Yoku the Tailspin, and this... Tales over coffee. Hopefully not the last Tales over coffee. I have been having stomach problems with coffee lately. I don't know if it's this or the nuts I've been eating. Anyway, we start the day with usually with a and hopefully continually with a cup of coffee and a narrative game in the hope of welcoming a blessed day. We return now to Stray Gods, the role playing musical. We have Medusa's lair and talk to Persephone. Not sure what else Persephone has to say to us. Probably nothing, but let's check. Which basically the boss lady. I didn't realize come by any time would be taken so literally, Grace. <laughs> Something specific on your mind? No, not really. I'll see you later, Persephone. Okay. It's just because it's a base to touch, touch base with. Okay. We're on day four. Off to Medusa. This must be the Viper's Nest. Scariest part of town, no sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. Well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. Oh, there you are. Man, this place is the worst. I think someone peed on me. <laughs> hey right? there, Freddy. What are you doing here? <laughs> what, you thought I wouldn't notice you skulking off? You didn't even bring any equipment, Grace. It's brought a bloody mace, a morning star. And some mace. You have equipment. I adore you. Freddy, please tell me you don't think you're some kind of adventurer. Um, I'm sorry. Are you not about to head into a monster's lair at great personal peril? What else would you call that? <laughs> you're such a dork. I adore you. <laughs> Good, because I'm not about to let you wander in there without backup. Who knows? Maybe the stuff I know about Medusa might actually apply. Well, that'd be a switch. <laughs> Tell me what you know. Okay, I'll bite. What do you know about Medusa? Uh, well, you know, she was human once, right? And she was cursed? Apollo mentioned it, yeah. Cursed by Athena. Or so one of the stories goes, anyway. But doesn't she work for Athena? Hey, don't look at me. My knowledge of this stuff stops at a few thousand years ago. Medusa's a monster, though? She was once human, but she's definitely a monster, right? <laughs> yeah, one of the worst. But, you know, so was the Minotaur. Exactly. Asterion said she was scary. I have a feeling she's not like him. Mm. Then I guess you need to be prepared for the possibility that she is as bad as the legends say. Though some of the stories also say that she was wronged by Athena and that what was done to her was an injustice. And Athena just follows the rules, right? Then she turn people to stone. Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. Or a really, really long one. I'm serious! <laughs> Percy not helpful, the Freddy. to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Oh, maybe you could use your phone. <sighs> you think that would work? Unless you brought a mirror, Grace, it's all you got. From the myth I read, Perseus um, used them. Well, I used them as well, but he slayed her in his sleep, in her sleep, uh, and used the mirrored shield in order to navigate, so they didn't have to look at her. Anyway, either okay, way. Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. Uh, you have a plan for how we're getting inside. I hope. Maybe. You're here to help. <laughs> Always. Then I have a plan. Then again, as with the vast majority of. Uh, Ancient Greek myth, depending on the source, you get a different story. Uh, use a distraction. Ah, 
Hi, uh, this is where the comic convention is, right? I hope I'm not too late for the signing. <laughs> Pan's there too. Ma'am, I'm afraid you had the wrong address. What? No. Oh god, no. No, that can't be right. Do you understand the indignities that I have endured? The weird looks, the body odors? Someone spilled coffee all over my cosplay outfit! I... Uh, <sighs> no, no, do not tell me that I'm I got it wrong. I spent $50 I on around. this ticket. I demand my personal photo. <laughs> there you go. Freddy doing the Freddy. You go, girl. We love you, Freddy. What a long day Hiding in the light Such a long oh, there's some day teeth. Dreaming of tonight This sacred bird Yow! Hello, who's that there? You've messed up my flow just get your drink, girl, and take your seat. Oh. It's the mule. There are sacred bites. And then there's this sacred bite. So wrong. That is heavy, the music. Crush so right. it. And she's all kinds of frightened. Well, that's Before just base. Start the show, Pan said to say hello. That's what he said to say. Mm. Well, any friend of Pan's is a friend of Pan's. <laughs> Not of mine. Okay. I hate to interrupt your flow. There's just some things I need to know. I wish there was another way. Hmm. Yes, you do. Now, way. Ooh, hypnotism, not stone. Oh, maybe turning to stone, but slow. Wow. Can you say that once again? I missed it. <laughs> you really want to sing, but your silly mouth won't do a thing. It's meant to work that way. I call it the preparation. Yes, I could make you stone, but then my dinner's blown. Stay That's green with how she is. Looking to me. Oh, she's looking away. Hey, looking to me. This is hot. Look at me, but oh, look at me, but does see who I am. Nice. Athena made you like this. She was mad at me, so. Well, why was she mad? She said I'd been bad. Had you been? No. Now look into Oh, that's a haunting strike with a bass in such contrast. Listen, Medusa. Amazing. She hides you in shame, but she uses you all the same. You could live another way. 
If I was treated like you, I'd be a monster too. <laughs> That's kind to say, but you could never be a creature like me. You didn't kill Cal kill Calliope. Did you? So you. Oh, was that an admission? You don't like me because you didn't do it. No, yes, you do know. You know, does that mean a thin and no? No. Okay. It's dinner time. You're not gonna watch. That vocal overlay echo. Ready? <laughs> you think well, that'll hurt me, child? You no, it's have not last done night. your homework. Oh, sorry. Just trying to get your attention. Yeah, I've been watching, and I'm willing to bet you can't turn me to stone before I burn your snakes off. Ooh. <laughs> it's okay, Freddy. I think we have this hey, now. Stand down, Freddy. Let's give Medusa some space. Yeah, okay. I'm watching her, though. Careful with what watching. Hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine? What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? Did you try to eat Calliope, too? You can start by telling me whether you tried to eat Calliope like you just tried to eat me. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt She me. was behind the back. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. So what were you That's doing That's what Asterion there? told us, more or less. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Athena doesn't Whatever know at all. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. Why were you following Calliope? You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spymaster. Yes. yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. So you were spying on her? I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus. But especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. Oh. But you didn't tell Athena, did you? You haven't told Athena any of this? Do I need to light things up again? Cause I'll do it. <laughs> I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? Oh, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected... Yeah, Athena's not exactly the most moderate of people, is she? Did you find out why Calliope was Did there? Did you ever find most out why Calliope question. went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened. Bloodied. Dying. Let me guess, that made you hungry. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. And then it was far too late. Inside you too, Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. 
He is a great beast of a creature. Hey, that's soft. He killed Hecate's cat by accident, but this still seems hard to believe. Yes, I had only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. How can we believe Why you? Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? Actually, what she's saying sounds I right. I am telling you the truth. Right, and not at all trying to cover your own ass. You presented an opportunity. Oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero mm -hmm. once again. Uh, it, it's a problem. <laughs> I've been working on yeah. it, I really have. Uh-huh. Well, what a pan! The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because he informed me. he's playing some games here. So much for never lying to me. What were the odds, honestly? Let's uh, put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? I am a monster. It's true, I do not deny it. It's still, I did not kill the muse. I believe her. Fast enough okay, questions. let's say we believe you. For the moment. Whatever you do, pretty muse. I beg you. Do She's afraid of Athena. That's what makes me more certain. Show mercy. I know what I am horrifies you. It horrifies me as well. Yeah, it does. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. No, that's true. That's why. Look at me, but don't look at me. Look at me so that I can curse you, that I can turn you to stone, that I can eat you, but. Don't look at me and see what I am. I try and be honest. I mean, this is a slight facade with the voice and so on, but I try and be honest as a YouTuber, but think of how many YouTubers portray false images. Not just putting on a show, but actual lie about who they are. How many other celebrities do the same? Look at me, but don't look at me. This is, a, this is a fantastic story. I'm loving it. Discretion, huh? It's quite the word for it. I cannot apologize for my hunger. I can only apologize that I am so very weak in the face of it. I'll think about it. I am a lost and cursed thing. No idea. If Lady Athena should learn the truth, she'd stump you like that. You're nothing to her. Most are nothing to her, to be honest. I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that we meet again someday. And sing a different song. He knew! Right from the start, Pan knew Calliope was there that night. Yeah, and who could have foreseen that he was lying to you <laughs> the entire time? Who, I ask you, a mystery. Even the Oracle couldn't have penetrated. <laughs> uh, I want to follow Freddy and say you were right, uh, but... At the same time, I don't think Pan is this guilty. He's a player, he's a gamer, but he's not like murderer. Yes, right. yes, fine, you were right, Freddy, as always. Ha! See, was that so hard? Anyhow, you probably have a few questions for Mr. Goatman. I'll see you at home. You were awesome. <laughs> Would you really have tried to burn Medusa's face off with an aerosol can? Hell yeah! One hint of googly eyes and... <laughs> 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 what would I do without you? Turn uh, You'll never need to answer that question, Grace. The hearts are obvious romances. You can, there are many you can romance, but... Oh! If it isn't, uh... The lovely Grace? You knew. Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well, 
Yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope and that's the truth. I did not. So I nudged you in the right direction. What? And so you were what? Me. Just trying to be helpful? You still aren't telling me something. What possible reason would I have to tell me? Oh, come on, right man. now. People get tired of being played. You also learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary. I know I that told she told me. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. Right. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently... Innocently. Sold her out? She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help, Grace. In my way. What do, you, what do you mean, in my way? What is what? What way is that? He doesn't know how to be straight. <sighs> the way where I don't take all the blame. What else will I discover, Pan? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. See, Grace, the thing is... You're looking for truth that flies straight like an arrow. Honest, straightforward. The, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Pan's not like that. He's a corkscrew. He'll always be a corkscrew. He's a gamer. He's a player. He's a twister. He's a manipulator. Who doesn't know how to do straight truth? Check the journal. Intent to go to Medusa alone, but of course, Freddy showed up. All kitted up like an adventurer. Should I be thankful she wants to help? Or should I be worried that she's uh, taking the idol seriously enough? Not taking the idol seriously enough. Like I said, the heart is an obvious romance path, and i got to go for Freddy. They've, they've just got too much together. Which is horrific in a way, because Freddy's mortal. Now, I don't know if immortality can be bestowed by a muse. I don't think so. Um, no reason to assume she would become an idol. Which means Immortal Grace, however she changes as she gains the experiences of the past Calliopes, will be dating, will be in love with a mortal who will die many, many centuries before she ever does. But you know there is truth in that it's better to have loved and lost. I'm sorry, this game makes me all kinds of uh, thoughtful like to Medusa corroborated a, a Dereian story she followed Clarepy to the liquidy saying she fled there having already been attacked bizarre though what was she even doing there Medusa isn't lying to me I'm left with Hecate and the Minotaur being the only other idols with access to the reliquary the only other ones we know about in that, or there was a third person who somehow got in and out undetected. Is this even possible for me to find out, or am I stuck now? Good question. Uh, no Aphrodite there, I don't think. Just met with Pan. Pan gave Calliope the key to the reliquary. He gave it to her that night. He knew she was going to the reliquary even when he asked me to do his favour. Didn't mention it at all. He's way more involved in all this than he ever let on. I confronted Pan about the key. He didn't deny giving it to Calliope. What's more, he admitted that he told Medusa where Calliope went right after she left. He sold her out. He claims he didn't know what happened to her at the reliquary, but he sent me to find out. Can I believe him? Nothing from Apollo, Medusa. Medusa isn't an idol, I'm told. She's an immortal creature. Uh... It used for more or less corroborated what study and told us. Followed Calliope to the reliquary that night. She died. Why? Because Calliope is sometimes trouble, so Medusa keeps an eye on her for Athena. Uh, Medusa claims she didn't kill her, that Calliope fled the reliquary, having already been stabbed. But, uh, by who? 
Assuming Medusa isn't lying through her pointy teeth, she could have chased after Calliope, eager to chow down on her, and Calliope just got away. Medusa seems more terrified of Athena, blaming her than anything else, though. Her fear feels real, so I think she's telling the truth. So do I. Alright. Let's take that news to Persephone, who we're working with. And we're on day five already. Back again so soon, Grace? <laughs> You're practically a regular at the club. Did you end up finding Medusa? Or did she vanish the moment you came near, like she does with every other idol? She definitely did not vanish. Maybe I'd better explain what happened. I knew it. We never should have brought that monster to the New World. Athena is a fool to think Medusa can be controlled. You're fortunate to have made it out in one piece. It could have gone very poorly for you. But it didn't. It could have, sure. But it didn't. That's a rather cavalier attitude for someone who so clearly wants to live. Hey, gets things done. Yeah. I suppose the important part is that Medusa has been exonerated, but Pan has not. I don't imagine you've confronted him yet. <sighs> he admitted to selling out Calliope, but not to killing her. I don't know if I can believe him. Nor I. Pan would do anything to save his own skin. Allow me some time to consider our next move. Now then, unless you've something else to ask? No, not really. I'll see you later, Persephone. Who is it, though? Oh, uh, hi, Grace. I can just call you Grace, right? That's my name. Yeah. Where's Freddy? She went out to get snacks. We were going to watch TV while we waited, but, um, well, <laughs> here you are. Most people, a strange person shows up. It's like, who the hell are you? Freddy. Oh, all right, Hermes. <laughs> you know Freddy? What, you and Freddy are friends now? When did this happen? When I came looking for you. Friday has this movie that I've never seen. Super cool, right? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, would you rather not share your mortal friends? <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess Athena wants to talk? I can zip us over to Olympus anytime, if you're free. Uh... Do I have a choice? Do I have a choice about seeing Athena? I'm not in the habit of being at anyone's beck and call. I mean, I guess you could say no, but I wouldn't. If Athena wants something, she's gonna get it eventually. She had that look in her eyes, like she really wants to talk to you. She could always come here. Everyone else does. Athena? Enter the mortal world? <laughs> and now she doesn't do that, ever. Can you imagine? Athena never leaves Olympus. How does Athena manage never entering the mortal world? She doesn't bidding. have to, I guess. Everyone brings her everything she needs. Right. And that creepy owl of hers? Apollo says it's her eyes out in the world. It's everywhere. Watching. So what, she just never leaves the building? Yeah. Ah, uh, she'll go to the reliquary and places like that. Just never where mortals are. She wears a toga and calls cars iron horses. <laughs> yeah. She goes to Rilakuri as well. This is what so you do. this is what you do? Fairy people around? I'm the god of messengers, baby. Travelers, doorways, any kind of transition, really. Mm -hmm. The old Hermes said that the transition part made even more sense for me, which, you know, extra cool, right? Yeah, that's true. I can connect any two doorways anywhere, just like that. So it's super easy to take people wherever. I don't mind. Transition part makes more sense for you. Uh, are you transgender? I hadn't noticed. You might be. You might be. I hadn't assumed, but that would be one meaning of that phrase. You knew the old Hermes? Well, we know, because... Yeah. You mentioned the old Hermes a lot. You knew him? Yeah, I was homeless for a while. It wasn't a great time, and he took me in. Everyone's on the same journey. 
he used to say. Only the roads are different. And then he went on his journey. Man, I still miss him. Every day. Wait, isn't he still inside you? Aren't you kind of the same person now? Mm, not yet. It's only been a year. Maybe I'll feel him again one day. That'd be nice. So how long does it take for the veil, as it's been called, to lift? Interesting. Huh. Do you like running errands? You say it's easy, but do you like doing all these errands? Huh. Yeah, I never thought about it. It's nice to have a purpose. True. Athena is super sweet, and she has a True. big, important job. Is that another Athena? Why wouldn't I want to help her out? <laughs> you can't be this nice. Are you for real? Aw. Oh. Well, the old Hermes used to say that a willingness to serve is more important than a willingness to be served. So you're a submissive. Okay, got it. Let's go. I suppose there's no point in putting it off. Do your thing. Take me to Olympus. Okay. Oh, uh, when you see Freddy, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the movie. And mind if I say something? Sure. You've changed. I mean... From the person I met when I first came here. When, you know, you got it together really quick. Yeah, well, when your life's on the line, it's all some priorities out. Thanks, I guess. Oh, we change traits or add a trait. Hmm. Interesting. Do we actually change or do we add a trait? Did we play out the first part as charming and then we play out the next as kick ass or clever? Or. Do we play out the first part as charming and then we play as charming and kick ass or charming and clever? Given the trouble she's in, I think she should go clever. She has been kind of kick ass. Oh gosh. Look, can't decide. Yes, I can decide. She's been more kick ass than she's been clever, to be honest. Uh, and that being the case, I do. I try to do role playing. I try uh, to me. Everyone surviving is not the good end. The good end is where you have played out the, the the story as it goes, based on the narrative, based on you being legitimate to the narrative, and the character is developed. So, although she needs clever. Is being kick ass. That's who she is then. There you are, Grace. Do have a seat. I prefer to stand, thanks. As you like. You've certainly been busy, haven't you? Everywhere I turn, there you are. Including the reliquary. Oh. I'm uncertain how you got access, but even you must have realized it's off limits. Particularly for your mortal friend. Oh, well. You know what happened But there. you know what happened there! That's where Calliope was attacked! Yet it's not where she died, Grace. Is it? No, but so we need- So because she made it all the way to my apartment, we shouldn't care why she was bleeding to death along the way. I thought you wanted mm. an answer to a death. You think our judgment was rash? Oh, yeah! It was. It wasn't even a judgment. In truth, I worried that giving you time, letting us all get to know you, would make it harder in the end. I am sorry, Grace. You may not believe it, but I care deeply. I care about what happens to you and to all the idols. Oh, I trust you less than I trust Pan. Yeah, where does 
honestly, that sounds more kick-ass than that does, in a sense. That sounds petulant. Do you really? Let's explore where all that caring has gotten them, shall we? You're holding on with a grip so tight, your knuckles are turning white. But that's not enough, is it? Every idol I've met is either lost or broken, or both. They're all slipping through mm -hmm. your fingers. If you actually cared about them, you'd do something about it instead of sitting up here worrying about your precious rules. Zeus was the first to leave. King of the gods. And we don't even know what became of him. Vanished into the ether. Poseidon was next. Walked out into the seas. Never to be heard from again. Ares betrayed us. Hephaestus saved us. Hades was murdered. And by one of our own. The list goes on. This is building to song. So you add to it? So you add to it. I show up and you kill me off because you can't be too careful. We are dying, Grace. You don't know that. I don't mean diminishing or drifting apart. I mean our immortality is disappearing. Well, that's an interesting Very one. Very soon now, the idols will be no more. We are a legacy that spans millennia. Dating back to the very dawn of humankind. So yes, I care. I will do anything and everything in my power to avoid that fate. Even if it appears unfair. That's a tough situation. An interesting one too. It's, it gets back to the, in a sense, to the... Does a god have a power, power because they're a god or because they have believed in? All belief, actual belief in the Greek gods is gone, but people still follow them as uh, icons in certain forms of neo-paganism, etc. As interesting stories, but even that's fading. Sorry. You feel responsible, don't you? For everything. I am responsible. Aphrodite wallows in her pain, Apollo in his regrets, and Persephone in her bitterness. Every other idol of power is gone. So there's only you. You have to shoulder the burden for everyone, like it or not. I'm sorry, Athena. I had no idea. But you don't, and you can't. They won't thank me for it. You can't shoulder it forever. I know we've put a great deal on your shoulders, Grace. I do. All I called you here to ask is that you please not make my job more difficult than it already is. Then don't put my life on the line. If you have any other questions or concerns, now's the time to bring them up. Who can access Who the reliquary? Who has access to the reliquary? Is it anyone with a key, or...? Does it matter? You gained access, so clearly it is not difficult to get. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'll tell me who gave you that key. You're kidding, right? Gave it to me. Athena, I had that key all along. You what? It's just like you thought. I used it to attack Calliope that night. Then I well, brought her back home to finish No, what I meant to say. A mortal with a plan, baby. Stole my way into godhood. Watch me roar. No, that's not where that's I was going. funny, Grace. <laughs> What's funny is that you thought I'd tell you without getting anything in return. That's more like it. You went to the reliquary, Speaking of right? the reliquary, you went there, right? Once Hecate told you what happened? Mm. Yeah, I was not impressed by the delay. If you had known about that, the night Calliope died, would it have made a difference? The chances are exceedingly small that you attacked her there, it's true. Yet, Calliope was weakened, which made her more vulnerable prey for an enterprising mortal. One she knew. Oh, please. Perhaps the incidents are connected, perhaps not. I cannot afford the risk of uncertainty, Grace. I'm sorry. About the justice system being unfair. There are so many cases of that. 
And, oh, we can't let them go. But here's the thing. I heard this on a documentary about injustice in the justice system. And it's so true. For every innocent person in jail, there's a guilty one who's gone free. You can't take that risk. You are that risk. If you punish an innocent person, you're ignoring a guilty one. Let's discuss Medusa. Right, let's talk about Medusa. Met her, have you? Uh, can you uncurse her? Is it true you can't remove her curse? Or is she just too useful? I wish I could remove the curse. I'm afraid the Athena who bestowed it is long gone. Oh, she was prideful, that fade. Athena. As prideful as she was powerful, oh, and you're not. to say. The current Athena is responsible for everything she's done. I am well aware, Grace. What is it that you would have me do, exactly? Stop using her. How about you stop treating her like a servant? Maybe send her somewhere she won't be tempted all the time. Oh, well, if you happen to hear of a diet camp for man-eating monsters, <laughs> by all means, Fair do point. let me know. Now, if there isn't anything else... Tell me about Pan. What do you know of Pan? Pan? That's not a name I expected to hear. Been sniffing around you, has he? <laughs> I have some suspicions, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Pan lurks at the edges because he likes it there, seeking out whatever profit he thinks he can get away with. Yeah. <laughs> Avoid him, dear. Or he'll stick to you like gum to the bottom of your shoe. We've noticed. Is Pan a killer? Uh, she wouldn't know, but I'm certain he's not. Okay, so you don't like Pan much. I get that. But do you think he could kill someone? <laughs> We've all killed, my dear. I was once a warrior queen feared by mortals and gods alike. A another idol, I mean. Is that where your investigation has led you? To Pan? Possibility. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. I've never thought of Pan as one who would deliberately provoke my ire. But, if he saw enough profit in it... Thank you, Grace. I'll add them to my list. Is Grace's life on the line at all? Or are you using her as a hound to sniff out the guilty? I'll go. I guess I'll get back to my investigation. I am rooting for you, Grace. If there's another way to resolve this, any way at all, I will take it. Will you? Really? Good luck. Feel free to take a cookie on your way out. Welcome to the dark side. We have cookies. Mm. Don't take it per Back to the main menu. Oh, well, journal first. Uh, we just met with Athena. See how hers has been updated. Halfway through the week, she gave me Athena summons me to her office. I'm not sure. Apologize. Like to me, she wasn't happy about my visit to the Reliquary Shore, but mostly she wanted to tell me about how the idols are dying. As in actually dying, losing their immortality, the whole thing. That's got to be hard for beings that have been around most of forever. But is that supposed to justify the trial? Athena can't take a chance on a lowly usurper like myself besmirching the great idol legacy as it quietly sunsets. She's like the strict school teacher who really wants to be the cool teacher but just can't help herself. Stephanie explained away her behaviour. Uh, well, that's about to happen. <laughs> Athena's a told control freak show, but that's how she's kept the idols alive for so long. Why hasn't she told the idols they're dying? Stephanie really couldn't stay. All right. Enjoy your coffee. May you have a blessed day. And hit the like, comment, subscribe if you want the channel to grow very well.